Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Zombies Month. Alright guys, uh, what's up? Worked right here, and uh, if you saw my last video, it's basically an intro and a welcome to Zombies Month. And basically, what Zombies Month is, if you didn't see my last video, or you just kind of just totally gave me the middle finger and didn't want to watch it, uh, is basically October 1st to October 31st. Nothing I'm going to be posting on this channel, uh, or there's going to be nothing on this channel that I'm going to post that doesn't have to do with zombies, okay? It's all going to be zombies on, on, um, uh, in the month of October, okay? So if you don't like zombies, uh, don't watch my videos. You don't have to. I'm telling you that now. Or if you're a bit open-minded and you don't like zombies, but you'd like to see if you would like zombies, uh, give it a try. It's, it's a really fun game mode. I promise you. <laughs> Save us, Romo. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm still recovering from being sick, but, um, yeah, zombies month. So, eh. There's so much stuff to talk about. Today, uh, as I'm recording this, it is the 26th of September, and the Black Ops 2 Zombies trailer came out. Now, for you guys, it's October 1st of 2012, so it is not... Uh, it, it, the Zombies trailer didn't come out for you today. It came out for you five days ago, which means I'm living in the past. Huh. So you guys are from the future. I wonder what it's like in the future. I wonder what can happen five days from now. Huh. Maybe World War Three. That would suck. Good luck getting out of that one, Obama. <gasps> World War Z. The zombie apocalypse. Zombies have taken over the Earth and the world has to band together to fight them. That sounds like the plot of Black Ops 2 Zombies. No, I'm kidding. That'd be a cool plot, though. That'd be a cool zombie game. World War Z. Why does that sound so familiar? I feel like that's a movie or something. I don't know. But yeah, Black Ops 2 Zombie trailer came out today and I have so much to say about it. It's... It's, uh, they made it look really good, I have to say. They, they're making me super pumped for zombies. And I figured that, uh, today, you know, being the day that the trailer was released, I could start, uh, you know, the Livecom series for zombies. Or start it back up, at least. I started it a long time ago. And now I'm just kind of trying to finish it. But, um, headshot, bitch. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna wait to get that. I'll kill him real quick. Oh, double point and nuke. Oh, fuck. Okay. I have to get it right now. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, I need to talk about the Black Ops 2 trailer. So, basically, what it is, is Treyarch released a trailer for Black Ops 2 Zombies. If you haven't seen it already, go watch it. It's on Call of Duty's YouTube channel. It's on t Marsh channel. It's on Woody's channel. It's on everybody's fucking channel. And it's awesome. And I think you guys, if you're fans of zombies and you haven't seen it yet, you're going to really like it. You're going to like what Treyarch is doing with zombies this time around. And uh, it's definitely, definitely got me excited for the game. So, the features in the trailer. For those of you who don't know and you want me to tell you, or maybe you do know and you, maybe you just want my thoughts on it or something. Uh, these are the features of the trailer. So, basically, you get one map. And it's one big map. I believe it's called Transit. And, uh... Like I said, it's one huge map, so it's not like it's not like you know Nocturne Totem, which is super small. It's not like Darius, which is kind of small. It's not like uh, Moon, which is fucking huge. It's bigger than Moon. It's like four of Moon. Okay, it's it's ginormous. And what it is, it's split into five sections or six or yeah, however many sections there is. They never really revealed how many sections there were, but yeah, it's split into that. And um, what it is is you get to travel between these sections either by foot which is your choice or by bus which is also your choice you can choose between foot or bus and you know there's certain advantages and disadvantages to each of them uh, like the bus uh, what there is is there's cracks in the floor and <coughs> underneath those cracks or the road I mean sorry uh, underneath those cracks is lava if you step on the cracks from what I from what I've seen I'm just gathering this uh, total speculation if you step on the cracks you break your mama's back, and you also catch on fire. Uh, <laughs> kind of sounds sounds brutal, but that's what it is. You pretty much catch on fire, from what I'm gathering from this. So, yeah, you catch on fire, and that's not good, obviously. You, you don't want to catch on fire. Um, so, what you have to do is you have to uh, take a bus if you want to travel safely. Now, I'm sure there's ways around the road that you can take, and you don't have to, uh, you know catch on fire and stuff like that but if you want to safely travel on the road travel quickly to different sections of the map then you take the bus now like I said there's different sections of the map there's gonna be I believe an abandoned factory a farm a, um, a diner 
uh, phew, I don't even know, man. It, it's so many different sections of the map that you can explore. And uh, I'm sure there's going to be different perks and different <laughs> pack-a-punches. Hopefully there's different pack-a-punches. That'd be interesting uh, to see in these different sections of the map. And, um, yeah, so there's three game modes and to, to this big map. And I'm sure Nuketown Zombies is just going to be like survival. But uh, there's three game modes to this map. And those game modes are survival, transit, and, uh, hold on, I need to find this, oh, yeah, get the fuck away from me, <laughs> Jesus Christ, um, yeah, oh, wow, so, yeah, what you have to do, um, for, uh, oh, what was I even saying, gosh, oh, yeah, three game modes, I'm sorry, I, I get off track sometimes when I, when I, uh, when I <laughs> almost get killed by zombies, but three game modes, you get survival, you get transit, and you get grief. These are the only three game modes that Treyarch has announced as of right now. They haven't announced any more game modes, but I'm willing to bet that they're going to announce some more in the future. And maybe this week. You know, Eurogamer is this week. Uh, actually, it, it's past by the time you're watching this. God, I need to stop talking like I'm from the freaking past. But, um, yeah, basically... Uh, is then you have three game modes, like I said, transit, survival, and grief. A survival is what you're seeing right now. It's this classic zombies. It's what everybody knows and loves or doesn't love, whatever. Um, it's it's classic zombies, and everybody uh, is you know pumped for that. And basically, what transit is gonna do, this big giant transit map, is for survival. You obviously can't play on the entire map because it's way too big. It'd be way too easy to uh, to you know. Um, rape train on and stuff like that so what you do is you split the map up into different sections so like i said there's different sections of the map there's a farm there's a diner there's a uh abandoned factory and you're going to be able to play survival on these different sections but you're not going to be able to play survival on the entire map just these different sections they're each going to have their own set of perks they're each going to have your pack of punches from what i understand and they're each going to be amazing <laughs> so yeah there's that um then you have transit, the game mode transit, which shares the name with the map, and transit with the Z because zombies, ah, you guys get that? It's a clever move by Treyarch, but yeah, uh, transit, basically that is you get to explore the entire map as a, as a whole, you know, you get one big giant map there, and it's, uh, you get to explore it, and you know, obviously you kill some zombies along the way, but... Yeah, you explore the entire map. That's what transit is. You just it's one big map that you explore and you and you do stuff like that. Now grief is um the mode that you guys might have heard about. It's actually been talked about a little bit by Treyarch, a little bit by some other commentators, and uh you might know it as four Z